Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore, connecting with you once again through this short message on Better Righteousness. In Matthew 5.20, we read Jesus saying, For I tell you that, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, you will certainly not. enter the kingdom of heaven people in those days respected the righteousness of the religious leaders and thought that they would never be able to match them in their acts of righteousness jesus shocked them by stating that entrance into god's kingdom was available only to those whose righteousness exceeded that of the scribes and pharisees jesus is differentiating the external righteousness displayed through acts with the internal righteousness that proceeds from the heart jesus was teaching his disciples about how to be righteous and not how to look righteous while reading matthew 5 17 to 48 we understand that Jesus is not giving a new law but he uncovers the real intentions of the law he raised the standard and explained how sin begins in the mind and goes on to control us we would understand the will of god when we realize the principle behind the law and not by taking it superficially in people's court we are punished for the wrong things but in the eyes of god the thoughts and motives are noticed jesus gave the deeper meaning for the laws and provided ways to enforce it he gave few illustrations to mean to us what it means to fulfill the law murder is wrong and so is the hateful attitude that leads to it adultery is wrong and so is the lustful look the marriage relationship should be permanent we should be honest in our words and deeds we have to practice non resistance and non violence we should love our enemies jesus forbade cherishing the anger in the heart that leads to murder an offering to god would mean nothing if a grudge our grievance is not set right jesus forbade cherishing the lust in the heart that leads to adultery in the days of moses a wife could be dismissed at whim but jesus goes back to the fundamental meaning and purpose of marriage the bond made when the two became one flesh is lasting on jesus also taught how to react when we face physical abuse illegal compulsions and losses he expected his followers to be yielding and non violent he taught them to suffer physical violence to yield to legal contentions to be willing to do more than what is legally applicable and not to refuse helps when requested these teachings remain important templates for our discipleship Jesus elevated the conditions for discipleship challenging his followers to deeper spirituality and observance he dealt with the most fundamental human emotions anger and hate on one hand and love on the other hand Jesus Christ demands a high quality of ethical conduct in his followers the passage ends with a statement in Matthew 5:48 stating that be perfect therefore as your heavenly father is perfect it signifies the standard kept by jesus for his followers though it looks impossible to practice the teachings highlighted here if our heart can be changed to become like christ the impossible becomes possible let us pray our father in heaven You have set high standards of conduct for us. You want our relationship to mirror those of God. 
may you enable us to work on uprooting the motives and intentions that makes us unworthy of a child of god in jesus name we pray amen thank you for listening god bless you